All of the hockey world is in mourning after the deadly Humboldt Broncos bus crash in Saskatchewan Friday, Winnipeg Jets players and coaches say. At all the rinks in Canada and the States, they'll be remembered tonight and certainly every day going forward, Jets head coach Paul Maurice said Saturday. 15 people died and 14 were injured after the Humboldt Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League team's bus collided with a semi-trailer north of Tisdale, Sask about 200 kilometers northeast of Saskatoon. The bus was carrying 29 people, including members of the Broncos team and the driver. The sole Manitoban on board, Matt Ugomersik, survived the crash. A friend of his family has confirmed to CBC the tragedy will hang heavy over Saturday's game between the Jets and the Chicago Blackhawks, Maurice said. The game will not take center stage. It will be played and that's it. Winnipeg Jets coach Maurice offers his condolences to the Humboldt Broncos family 1.28 Jets player Adam Lowry said the crash hit close to home. From 2009 to 2013, he played for the Swift Current Broncos, a Saskatchewan junior hockey team that saw four of its players die in a bus crash in 1986. Decades later, he and other Swift Current players wore the numbers of the victims on their jerseys. This is something that's going to be with them for a long, long time but the whole hockey world is behind them, he said, in small prairie towns, where everyone knows everyone, tragedy like this is especially difficult, Lowry said. Everything is so interconnected there. It's crazy. It's a huge loss for that community. The Winnipeg Jets will observe a moment of silence before Saturday's game in honor of the victims of the crash. Players will also replace their names with the word Broncos on the back of their jerseys. Hockey Manitoba Executive Director Peter Woods echoed Maurice's words, saying the hockey community is in a state of shock and mourning. Everyone certainly feels for the people directly impacted by this, he said. It's tragic. We have players on that team that are from all over Western Canada. I think it's very difficult to come to grips with it right now. Wood said while Hockey Manitoba waits for details, they will offer whatever support and help they can. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the players, staff and families of the HREF equals HTTPS colon slash slash Twitter dot com slash Humboldt Broncos. Ref underscore SRC equals TWSRC percent 5 net greater than at Humboldt Broncos less than slash A organization dot and M dash semicolon at Hockey Manitoba Manitoba Premier Brian Pallister also sent his condolences Saturday. With heavy hearts, we extend our deepest condolences to the Humboldt Broncos, their families and the entire Humboldt community, he wrote on Twitter, think of the families, Kennedy the news is devastating, said former NH Lure Sheldon Kennedy. A former Swift Current Broncos player who was one of the survivors of the 1986 crash. I'm probably feeling like most of the country is right now, Kennedy said Saturday from his home in Alberta. In these times we need to really think of the families, the communities, the billet families, the first responders that responded to this, their families, those people that had to respond to this horrible accident. He said, former NHL player Sheldon Kennedy was on a team bus in Saskatchewan in 1986 when it slid off an overpass and crashed into an embankment, killing four people 10 colon 01 being on a bus together is an important bonding time, said Kennedy, especially for teammates who are in communities they don't know. The bond is, a very, very tight bond, and then when the accident happens, most of those kids' parents aren't around, said Kennedy, they're either at the game or they're driving in or they're not there. Kennedy said he has been in touch with other players who were on the Swift Current Broncos team when he was and they are considering heading to Saskatchewan, but said no definitive plans have been made. While thoughts and prayers are appreciated, what the families need is support, he said. One of the ways people can do that is sending letters rather than showing up or sending money. Letters of support that families can read and people can read, I think, are important. He said, if we can relate to something that those families are going through, if we can put that down in a story to give them a little bit of strength, I think that would be impactful. The Winnipeg Jets are donating all proceeds from Saturday's 50-50 draw to the Humboldt Broncos. The Jets, the Chicago Blackhawks and the NHL will also each add $25,000 to the total. A GoFundMe was set up for the team with a goal of $250,000 to help support the families. As of 3.45 p.m. CT Saturday, more than $1.3 million had been pledged from people across Canada.